guys what's up welcome to another video from Ling Ling in this video I gave Lauren a call on Skype and we had a little chit chat about the Chinese internet and the usage of VPNs around here so without further ado let's just get into this video hello from China <laughs> hello from America <laughs> <laughs> Ling Ling is back, Lauren is back and today we are going to talk a little bit about some questions that we have received from you guys. So yeah, let's just uh, get into it. Are you ready, Lauren? I'm ready. Let's talk about using the internet in China. Yes! Okay, number one, the first question we got is, I just got ExpressVPN but I'm not in China yet. Other than getting the app and turning the bottom on, do I need to do anything else to have access to social media when I arrive in China? So in this video, we have uh, we have decided to try to uh, keep it short. <laughs> We're going to no. try to not talk too much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so basically, you don't have to do anything else. Just remember to download the VPN before you get into China, then you won't have any trouble it's just a system on your computer, a little program on your, on your computer, a little app on your phone, and you just click the bottom and boom, social media for life. Yep, and uh, all you need to do other than like hitting that button is select a location. So you can be yeah. anywhere in the world. My favorites in China were always LA3, depending on you know the day, but Lynn <laughs> and I would test out the speeds of all different ones. So if one, if the VPN seems a little slow, log off and try a new location and then try it again and it might be a little bit faster yeah so i was in taiwan yesterday and i was in hong kong today right now i am in uh la i think uh, <laughs> no i'm i'm in hong kong one so uh, so it's a really cool way to do it and also one cool thing about this vpn and like changing location is that every time you see different advertisement on YouTube. So a few days ago, I don't know why, but my YouTube thought that I was in Romania and France. So I've seen literally advertisements from all over the world just because of my VPN. <laughs> I love that. It's so fun. It's quite funny. <laughs> yeah. So that was the first question. No, you don't have to do anything else. Just remember to download your VPN before you go to China. Get it. And also, yeah. It, Sorry? Oh, I was going to say it's, it works on up to three devices. So I'd recommend getting that app on all the devices you plan to use in China. Um, yeah. And it actually, I think you can get it on three devices and then you can be using it simultaneously on a couple at a time. So get everything all set up to go before you go to China um, and then you're good to go. Yeah, like I have ExpressVPN is open on my phone right now and it's also on my computer. So it is great. <laughs> okay, so question number two is, do you suggest getting more than one VPN? This question, I would say if you have a good VPN, no. Then you just have one because as we said with ExpressVPN, there are like a lot of different destinations to choose between. So if one is slower, then you just go on to another one. But if you're doing a free one, a cheaper one, like my roomie she does, then she has like one kind of VPN on her computer and then one on her phone, which is another one. So I've heard that there are some free VPNs for your phone, but I don't remember the names. And I also think a lot of them got shut down. So you have to research that before you go. Make sure that they work before you go and make sure that they haven't been blocked since um, the post you were reading on social media got shared, you know, like maybe they shared in like January and then they got blocked in February like you never know so make sure that it's up to date before you leave uh, for China yep and then yeah. if you are going with a partner your spouse uh, you know sister brother whoever you're going with and you're thinking I wonder if we can split VPN access the main thing I would say is think about what you'll be using it for so my yeah. husband and I went to China and he was going to be, he's a, he was a student there. So he had a lot of work to do um, where he had his phone and his laptop up at the same time. Um, and then I was blogging. So of course I'm on like every device I could possibly <laughs> be on with all the internet up. And um, we, it didn't work for us to have just one VPN account. So we actually purchased a second VPN account while we were in China. Um, so if you are going with your spouse, just think about 
um, will you guys each be using more than one device simultaneously? So if you're going on a vacation in China rather than living in China and you think you guys can communicate really well and you know, just if you want, you know, one phone at a time or like one device at a time, you can probably get away with just one account between the two of you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, so just think about that. Just, so just think about the, how much you'll be using VPN and then kind of make that decision from there. Yeah, like my sister, she was visiting in April and she was here for a week and she just, uh, she just installed the, the Express VPN on her phone and then she just used my account. So she didn't have to pay for it and it works super fine. Okay, number three, I hear Apple removed Express VPN from the Apple store. Should I be worried about being able to use my VPN in China? I also heard this and I was like, Apple, what the F? But yeah, you know how it goes. Anyways, it's only in the Chinese Apple store. Mm -hmm. So when you're in America, you're on the American Apple store, right? So uh, you just download your VPN there or if you're in China, as Lauren, she said before as well, like it's very easy to get into contact with ExpressVPN as well. So you just get one of their other URLs, They're, they send you a link and then you download from there. And if you already have a VPN, it won't affect you in any ways just because you can't download it from the Chinese Apple store because your phone, the, because the app is already on your phone, so it won't affect you in any way. Right, so basically if you download everything on your phone before you go to China, you're not gonna have a problem at all. If you don't mm -hmm. download it, I would recommend that before you go to China, like if you're planning on downloading it when you get there, I would recommend mm. getting a Chinese friendly email address. So like 163.com is the one I used when I was mm. making a Chinese email. And just send a quick email to customer service through that Chinese, and I'm talking about ExpressVPN customer service. Send that to them through your Chinese email so that when you get to China, you can always contact them through your Chinese email and they'll send you specific URLs like Ling Ling is saying, or they'll send you like app links. Um, like they'll, they have a million ways to get you ExpressVPN. Mm. So they will figure it out for you. Don't worry if, if you can't download yeah. something on the app store, it doesn't mean that you can't download it at all. Mm. Yeah, true. So this is just what we just we just talk about ExpressVPN because that's what we know. So yeah. I guess you can do the same with some of the other VPN services as well. But I've just never used them. So you should just Google it if you want to try some 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 of the other apps as well. Okay. So I think that's all the questions for your channel. Is that right? Yes. So if you want to <laughs> head over and see more questions, visit my channel which is linked yeah, down below, I'm assuming. <laughs> So that was all I had for this video. I hope that you like it. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling below and also click the little bell so you get a notification when I release a new video. Also check out my Patreon if you feel like it and my website lenaround.com. You can Skype me. I can tell you everything about China. So yeah, anyways, have a nice day or evening wherever you are in the world and I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling Ling is out. See ya and 再见. Bye bye.